produced. Now, this is the this is the premise that I stand on. If you not if you ain't about that life, don't put your hands on people. That's all I'm saying, man. You you see where I grew up at? You be driving down the street and you at the light and some dudes mugging you and they looking over at you in your car for no reason trying to punk you. If you ain't about that life, you just better keep looking straight. Because you look back at them, it may go a zero to 60 in a second. And are you about that life or you not? Because if you about that life, you look back over and say what it is. What y'all looking at? Y'all got some problems? Then you better be ready to shoot, fight, whatever, whatever comes with it. That's why I don't play games with road rage. And I carry my gun everywhere I go. I don't play games with people because I, you better be ready to go all the way to life and death. Because you never know what's going to happen. And I don't put my hands on people unless I'm ready to take it there. The same thing when I was a police officer. I didn't touch you or put my hands on you unless I'm going 100%. Woman or male. If I put my hands on you, I'm serious. And I'm going 100%. Oh, I got to give a shout out. Randy, what's up, man? I met Randy at the airport. At Sky Harbor Airport. Randy came up to me when I was lost. Missed my flight and everything. And Randy was there to save the day. So, what's up, Randy? I had to give him a shout out. But, back to the subject at hand. You know, neither one of these people I would consider to be a saint. You know, this guy got a gun and he ain't afraid to yell at people on parking spaces. If he didn't have a gun and and, and, the, and, and uh, Marquise was in the car, I don't think that man would have been running his mouth like that. I heard he had another incident at the store. But the reason he running his mouth, because he's strapped. And he going to say whatever he want to say. And if you if you run up on him playing games, he'll shoot you. See, I don't understand why people... Listen to this. Listen to this, people. I don't understand why people so mad at this and feeling all butthurt about this incident. This happens in the hood all the time. Why we got to be fake all the time? Oh, my God. He was so innocent. He didn't he was in front of his kids. This happened in the hood all the time. You don't run up on nobody talking trash unless you're ready for that gunplay. I don't know why we acting fake and acting like we sad now. I ain't trying to justify nothing. But what I'm saying is that where I grew up at, you're going to get done. If you, if you run up on somebody tripping... You're going to get smoked. That's just the way it is. And in this country, in that, in that state, they have stand your ground laws. So if you put your hands on somebody in an aggressive manner and that person can articulate that they felt that their life was in danger, either by serious bodily injury and or death, they can fire a shot at you, which unfortunately hit him right in the heart and killed him. There's nothing wrong with firing a shot at somebody. That is the use of deadly force. It wasn't excessive in deadly force. Because he didn't shot, he only shot him once. Just so happened that was a that was a clean shot. But what I'm saying is that people overall need to act like they got sense. And let me start with the bare basic principle, and then I gotta take my son and go swimming. I told him to give me 10 minutes. Take I gotta take my son and go swimming. So this is this is I hear you, boy. This is this is the this is the gist of it. That's why people should operate in integrity. And you think, and people think the little things don't matter. People think the little things don't matter. And, and some of y'all like to gloss over little things and they're like, oh, it's nothing because it, you know, a person shouldn't die of a parking spot. See, if you operate in integrity, you won't be in situations like this. First of all, don't park in a parking spot if you're not handicapped. I used to be anal about that when I was a police officer. I see people parking. I wouldn't give them a ticket unless it's egregious. Now, I had one girl park across two parking spots, and she parked up against the railing in front of the convenience store, blocking pedestrian traffic and traffic in both lanes. She said she had to go take a dump. Well, I don't care. You park on the, you park at the gas pumps and come take a dump. You don't park in two lanes, and, and, and I go up there to get some donuts, and you put me on the spot because people looking at me like I got to do something about this because you didn't triple park in front of the store. Anyway, that was a side note joke, all right? Take it or leave it. But let me say this real quick because we got to go. I want to make this quick. Act with integrity, right? What integrity says is you do the right thing when nobody's watching. 
What integrity should have necessitated was that you don't park in, in a handicapped parking spot. You d don't do it. And if you wouldn't have, then the crazy man that carried a gun at the store wouldn't confront you. But no, you, you, you don't do that, so you get confronted. But it, you know, with integrity, why would you confront a person if you ain't ready to fight? It's the only reason he confronted them, in my opinion, because he had a gun. A person with integrity would say, man, if this was me, would I want somebody coming at me acting crazy? No, it wouldn't. Maybe they have a reason why they had to hurry up and park in the handicapped parking spot. Now, from some of the information I heard that the girl was belligerent, just like most of the time this would happen. They get belligerent, people start arguing over nothing. You wrong as two left shoes, but you arguing with somebody. Now, with integrity, don't go, don't go mess with people. Another side of integrity. If you if somebody call you out for your BS, why are you arguing with them? You wrong. Get in the car and move. But see, people don't have integrity, so they keep, they keep, they keep arguing. Then you have a man come out the store, and I say this all the time. If that was Huck Hogan, Mike Tyson, uh, The Rock, if that was uh Leon Lett for all you Cowboy fans. If, if that was anybody else, would, would he have gone out there and, and went all hard on the dude? No, he wouldn't have. If Mike Tyson was out there yelling at his girlfriend, he would have took the civil approach. He would have went out there and tried to negotiate because he would have got them hands. And most people don't want to see them hands. So you see a frail-looking white boy, and you say, well, I'm going to push him on the ground because I'm the man. Oh, you didn't know he had a gun, though. That's why you don't fool around unless you're ready for that drama. Don't go out there and push people unless you're ready for that drama. That's all I'm saying. And then, you know, I don't know what happened to the guy. He laid there on the ground. He was laying there. The, the whole video, that's the parts that I saw. He was laying there the whole time. I don't know if he hurt his hip or what. But at all costs, avoid trying to kill somebody unless you have to. And he run back at you, I'll say bust caps. But if he ain't running at you, man, say, say that dude like his kids right there. He just being stupid right now. So all of this could have been avoided if people would have made rational decisions as adults. But my basis for saying that this was justified, and this was a legal shoot, not a good shoot, a legal shoot, is that the man got pushed on the ground like he was in the middle of a football game. Hit concrete. Homeboy pulling his pants up like, like he about to give him the work. And everybody that's watching that know he, he looked like he about to give him the work, which is probably what he was about to do. And what this boils down to is that emotional aggression. I have to save myself for doing that. I'd be wanting to, I'd be wanting to whoop all kind of people. But you gotta reserve yourself and say, look, is it is it reasonable that I get into a physical altercation with this person? I know I'm carrying a gun. If I take if I take it there, I may have to use this. Do I really want to get into a confrontation? Is it worth it? Me end up having to kill somebody? No, it's not. I'm gonna move along. Now you put your hands on me, you're a dead man. Cause I'm a I'm I'm a win with the hands. And if I start losing, I'm gonna go with the gunplay. But I ain't going to mess with you unless you unless you threaten in my life. Because I'm confident with my hands too. But all I'm saying is that instead of y'all crying and, and trying to act like somebody a victim, we need to be educating people on the best way to handle these situations on all sides. And that the law enforcement determined that they were not going to charge him. The county prosecutor can overrule that. Not say overrule it. It's not an overruling. The county prosecutor can review it and, and then charge him. But I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off here. I just want to reiterate this. I'm sick of people being fake. This scenario that happened in, in, in Florida with the stand your ground law happened every day in the hood. And not one person is crying. Not one person is, is on TV going viral um, protesting. I didn't see this. I, I didn't see with my own eyes stuff like this happen. Dunbar High School, 2005. My friend Brandon's brother just got out of prison. He riding through the parking lot showing out. Another dude at our school, he had done a thug. He come through the parking lot, flash his money in high, in high school parking lot. They flashing money. They up, in there, they up in there showing out. They almost hit cars. They get into a heated exchange in the parking lot. And for all of y'all who know hood language, Brandon's brother pop trunk on old boy. And if y'all don't know what pop trunk is, that means when you pop the trunk of your car and you pull out a gun. So he popped trunk on old boy in the parking lot. And we got a police officer at the at the school. He popped trunk on him 
pulled a gun and pulled a rifle out on this dude in the parking lot. Homeboy jump in the car, they leave. He chased him out the parking lot and the police chased both of them. The police chased both of them. This happened every day in the hood. How do you think Chicago's homicide rate is at two and three a day? This same thing. People run up on other people and they ain't about that life and they get smoked. That's just what happens. And now, I, I didn't say it enough. I'm going to get off here. I, I'm sorry that that boy lost his life. It's unfortunate for the kids, but this should be a lesson learned. This is one more example why don't run up on people unless you're about that life. It be people be yelling at me, saying all kind of stuff to me while I'm driving, and I know I, I'm strapped. And I say I'm not going to even go there with them because if I if they make me go all the way, I'm going all the way. So I keep it to myself. Now you ram my car, you try to you know hurt me while my son is in the car. I'm gonna defend us a hundred percent. It ain't gonna be no halfway defending. I'm gonna defend a hundred percent. But avoid these things, ladies and gentlemen. You don't need to be dying at a young age for something stupid over a parking spot. And I bet it was racially charged on all sides. You know, the black people yelling at the white man. White man yelling at black, he's sick of black people. Then the black dude come out, oh, white man yelling at my woman. Oh, now I'm going to put him in his place. Now he like, oh, black dude think he going to do me like this. These brother ain't doing me like this today. I'm going to shoot him. Boom. All this over animosity that shouldn't have never happened. All this over people who don't have integrity, who can't even park in the proper parking space. Because if the police was out there, would you park in a handicap? No, you wouldn't because you get a $500 fine. But when nobody's watching, you park in a handicap anyway. Oh, okay. That's all I'm saying. If homeboy, if you if, if you knew he was strapped, if his girlfriend was strapped, would you be at the door yelling at her and talking trash about a parking spot? Probably not. If the black dude came out of the convenience store, knew old boy was strapped, would you push him to the ground and you know he's strapped? No, you wouldn't. Have some integrity. Do what you would do what you would do when nobody's watching. Or do what you would do if people were watching you. That's all I gotta say and I'm out. Amen.